rape. Uh, in the story we were told... I'm talking about Jessica Lynch. Jessica Lynch uh, was raped. ...subsequently by the media, uh, was that these special ops teams raided this uh, Iraqi hospital after midnight and fought this uh, terrible battle with bloodthirsty fetidine death squads to rescue her. Uh, the reality was that uh, there were there was no battle. They were in and out in six minutes without a casualty. Uh, there were no fetidine death squads, as the military knew, because they had been informed by um, doctors in the, in the hospital. Um, it was just a bunch of doctors and nurses who were trying to take care of Lynch, and actually were trying to return her uh, to the military. Two days earlier, they had bundled her up in an ambulance and uh, tried driving her to uh, the U.S. Uh, where the U.S. forces were based, and they were actually donating their own blood to to actually help her. Is that remember? Right. Yeah. And they did all kinds. Of, they gave her the one, the only bed they had that uh, could treat um, her particular injuries. Um, they, you know, they, they took food out of their own homes, um, and they, they and then two days before they tried to return her. Um, but had to turn around because they, at a checkpoint, were uh, so fiercely shot at by the U.S. military. Uh, and from the beginning, there was this insinuation without any evidence this is all that true, she may by have the been way. raped. Th there was no uh, um, enemy presence when they la landed to take uh, uh, rescue Jessica Lynch. And maintains to this day. Uh, I have no memory of being raped and uh, it doesn't believe that it happened. Yet the story of the daring raid and the, the helpless girl is very important to us as a culture. And when you go back and you look at the descriptions of her in the media, uh, what you see over and over again is this um, story of, uh, of, uh, of uh, a systematic rewrite of, of uh, a, a woman who was just doing her job, who had en uh, enlisted not once but twice, turned into this um, sugar and spice little girl. The press um, went in droves to her hometown. Uh, unless and, that once and but twice very is uh, interview anybody a reference to her, um, when you enlist, you, know, you are enlisting in the military five, when you enlist twice because the of the there's a combat, teacher. there's war going on. Um, they presented her as somebody who was mm. uh, obsessed with wearing pink and was just this, as they put it, tiny little girl, doll-like, blonde, waif, um, helpless. Uh, bad at bad at sports. Um, <laughs> you meet those kind of women everywhere, and yeah, I, they were in the military. I didn't recognize myself in any of these descriptions. She said, "I don't see myself as a passive girl, and I saw myself as a soldier doing a job." In fact, when the when the soldiers came in in this what you call a staged scene, uh, they said, um, "In other words, it's uh, we are American people are misrepresenting who she is." She said, I am an American soldier, too. Mm -hmm. But that was the last that we ever <laughs> right. heard, heard of that, heard of that yeah. aspect. Now, so, and it was also used in the weeks ahead, um, there were quite a few commentaries and, and discussion on talk shows, on uh, news programs, about how, well, d didn't this indicate that maybe women shouldn't be, you know, so close to the lines of combat, and maybe this was going to start um, uh, you know, a long-needed reevaluation of women's role in the military. So there was, you know, right away there was a sort of political uh, um, uh, reaction that, again, suggested uh, that women uh, return to a more traditional. Right. Life. And back at the media stage, of course, the the widows of 9/11 uh, were the ones who were being focused on it. It was a kind of, the you call them virgins of grief, uh, almost a, as if it were a morality play of some kind. And then came the Jersey Girls, and these were uh, a number of uh, very uh, strong-minded women who had lost their husbands in, in the World Trade Center. And they, as I understand, were the germ of motivation for the formation of the 9-11 Commission. And you say that they actually uh, succeeded 